Hey, YouTubers. I'm going to show you a couple of these frames. <coughs> these are from uh, that quarter acre site. This was one of the other frames. I think you've seen this frame before, but a lot of people have been asking me about that quarter acre spot. So I got the other frame put away. This is another one from there. Earl Duke. This is another tray of stuff I got just from there. Pretty stuff. When I used to go hunting, I'd come home and put them on the scanner, and uh, you know, then I'd write down, you know, where each piece came from. These are all from that quarter acre site. These are all from the quarter acre site. So this one right here. I was over there asking him to see if he'd let me go, you know, for about the hundredth time. And while I was talking to him, I looked down there's an arrowhead there, you know. He told me to keep it, but wouldn't let me go back into the sweet section back behind his pond over there. There's some nice stuff in here. Some little tools and things. This one's a cross section of uh, different things. This paddle over here, that was a uh, the name of a uh, company that would do tobacco for the uh, landowners and they were like on you they were there all the time you couldn't get in there for more than a couple minutes and they'd be on your case you know so one day I saw a hat on the side of the road that was one of the Powell hats you know somebody must have lost it you know driving in the car or something so I went out Shanghai that hat, you know, washed it and I'm telling all my friends I'm going into Powell Fields and, <laughs> and do some harvesting, you know, but it worked for a little while. I got out there, I had that hat on, it was a real distinctive blue hat with red Powell on there and uh, I went for a couple of weeks before the head guy out there he he knew me because he had seen me so many times, so put an end to that. But this is all Earls, February 03. Earls, Axe, Silt, Chunky Stone, Perfect Grinding Stone. some different sites. Here's a nice one. Hardaway. Cowhead Hardaway. I picked that thing up. About ten seconds later I had a high powered rifle bullet go past my head. Pissed me off. I went looking for them people. <laughs> yeah and this is another one. One Powell Fields. This tractor field is right across the street from a federal prison, one of those multi uh, security jobs, you know. They got all of some of the 
high security people up there, but I'd be out there in that field picking up stuff like this. I could hear it up on the loudspeakers over there telling them people dinner time or whatever, you know. <laughs> Earl Dukes. couple from Earl's. These two I spotted in there and like the first time I went in there got 10 seconds and about 15 seconds later he came up driving up and told me to get out. This is the Alamance part of the Capehart collection. This guy lived around me you know, in the early 1900s, and uh, he had like 600 paleo points. These are some of them. He had a uh, a store in this little town, and uh, he'd give the kids a penny. You know, they'd bring them an arrowhead, so the Holland kids would bring them arrowheads, you know, and he, he had several thousand on display in his uh, store, plus he had all those other good ones, I guess he knew, he knew about those paleo points, that's before anyone else really knew what they were, you know, but this is the thing about the Ukinta stone, those are those crystals I, I would find, you, could, you know, Google it or something like that. This is a uh, pretty cool magazine. Here's a story. Shell Middens at Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. That's where I am. The museum put me in touch with this guy. He was a, a writer for this magazine. He was coming down to do a, uh, an article, you know, so I was his guide and gave him most of this stuff. shells was, you know, massive shell, uh, shell mounds, there's some of that stuff that was in my, uh, frame of shells and things like that, well, that's about it, hell, I still see, I went 10 minutes, so, alright, thanks for watching, come back soon, peace.